What are you doing, Bailey? You heard the good news? You did. You gonna tell me what it is? Not yet? Alrighty, well come on. Let's go take care of what we need to take care of. No? What? What are you doing? Are you happy? Are you happy, puppy? Are you happy, old puppy? Yes, you are. Alright, well come on. Come on. There we go. You're so sweet. I love you. There it is, Mo. All right, well, come on. I'm really excited. It finally came in on the mail, so I'm looking forward to putting it where it needs to go. Come check it out. So it finally came in the mail, so I'm so excited. I've been waiting almost for over a week, so it's finally here. We just got back from the farm machine show uh, on Sunday. And it tell, I mean, seriously, people, if you have not gone yet, y'all need to check it out if you get a chance. You be amazed what things you can find. Like Tony makes a joke, you can find from combines all the way to waterbed mattress, but they don't make waterbed, pretty much waterbed. Yeah, waterbed mattress anymore, do they? Anyway, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm ex really excited. So it was fun and everything, and it was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed it. And we have met so many nice people and other YouTubers, so it was a lot of fun. So, but um, today, what I'm going to show y'all is my surprise. Yay! Hi, Cotton. Look, y'all. She's doing so good. Her foot is so much better. And Miss Snow's back there. Oh, they're all checking out the coop out there. They are so curious. I'll tell you. Actually, I'm thinking about moving to my, to my girls in here, so separate them, but. Um, I don't know if she'll let me come up over here or not. I'll probably have to wait. Hi, what's she doing, baby? You do? Are you excited about the good news, too? You think that's going to help? I think you need one, too. What do you think? You need one, too? Hmm. We're going to get you all some other stuff right now for put on y'all. But we can't have one of those yet. Baby? Look at that poor baby. Yeah, look at my sweet baby girl. I feel so bad for her. You know she must be cold. Even if chickens have 105 to body temperature, but you know she must be cold. So, um, I finally got it in the mail, so I'm really excited. So, let me show you what it is. You're probably wondering what this is. Well, let's see. I'm in the chicken house area and the chickens and this is a chicken sweater yay i found those on etsy's and like i said snow is really cold probably with all not having a whole bunch of feathers right now because they keep plucking off of the, i mean off of her off her body i mean this is just cruel but uh yeah i finally got it in the other day and i'm really really excited and my nose is really red for some reason i have no idea why so i'm not rudolph by the way <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to be putting this on her and uh, we'll see how she likes it. If she hates it or she's going to love it and how the other chicken's going to react. Well, the other chickens, I have a saddle that I'm going to put on because the brownie, she still has an area that uh, when the rooster was here was pretty rough. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that on her. So, BB's riding in her coop right now and she is busting. So, but she seems like she's going to brood on me again. She is one broody mama, I tell you. But let me go ahead and get this camera situated. I'm going to put it on, on, on snow and see if she likes it. Sorry. Ooh. All right, 
I got it in. I got it in. I got it in. I got it in. All right, let's try the other side. All right, if you don't quit that, girl. All right, got that one in. Let's see if I can get the other side in without no trouble here. But yeah, this is not easy to say to be done. I never put a sweater on a chicken, so either. So. Pull that right through. Here we go. Look at my girl. She got to wear the sweater. What you think, girly? <laughs> what you doing? What do you think? Huh? No, Mom. I'm sorry, but I wish it keep you warmer, okay? Yeah, that should keep you warm. <laughs> Who would have thought a chicken sweater? Well, I found this one on, like I said, I've been looking for some because she was molting and, uh, you know, she was really cold and they keep plucking her feathers off and everything. So I was really looking for one and I just couldn't find one. And I found this one on Etsy. So if y'all been hunting this chicken sweater, Amazon, I had no luck. All of them was able to find the saddles. But uh, actually with this one right here, I found on Etsy. So and it fits great. So I'm really excited, y'all. And uh, hopefully this will help her grow her feathers back. But uh, but yeah, I'm really excited, and hopefully this will help her. You must be warmer than that. You are stylish here, you stylish young lady. Yes, you are. What do you think about that? Hmm? Do you think you're gonna like your chicken sweater? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Put you down, see how you walk around. You gonna walk? You gonna walk around? You not gonna move? No. <laughs> Come on, you can move around. There you go. <laughs> Poor baby. I don't think she likes it. It's okay. It's okay. She's trying to get away from me. What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? I hope she'll get used to this. The run needs cleaning again because we had a lot of rain here, so and it kind of got yucky and stinky in here. So I'm gonna have to clean that up as soon as I can. But we're supposed to get a little bit more rain, so I'm gonna wait for it to pass and then we're gonna go ahead and clean it all up. And then when it starts warming up, I'm gonna take some of the paneling down. But with cotton, well, <laughs> if y'all can see her back there, I don't know how this is gonna work out and her having a sweater, but I know it. She has to be warmer than what she has been, and like I said, that will keep her of getting her you know getting her feathers keep constantly being pulled off her because you know they can grow back with her keep constantly being pulled from them so but um if this is not getting any better with them they keep pecking each other i'm gonna have to separate some of my girls to break that pecking order because when they're in a routine they you know they do the same thing over and over and over so i have to break the routine 
for them to stop. So when I take them out and put them by themselves for a couple, maybe two weeks or so, then the pecking order will be completely messed up. So they're going to have to establish again. And hopefully by then to stop all that pecking on each other because they have really no reason. They got all the nutrition they need, the vitamins, minerals, everything they need to have. So maybe, you know, with them being, me being back again so they can go outside, maybe they'll also be able to, you know, kind of slow that down. But uh, Cotton is back here. Y'all can see her back here. Right there. Right there. And uh, we'll see. Hmm, what do you think, sweet baby girl? You think you can handle that sweater? At least you stay warm. Hmm? What do you think? You jealous? Let me show you Bibi. She, I think she's going to breed me again. Let me go check check on her to show you what she's doing, okay? Bless you. Bless you. Guess what? What are you doing? 